Oh man, do I love Wednesdays. What's going on guys and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. Do so you guys know by now every single Wednesday we get brand new weekly challenges. And for week six, we're going to be unlocking the Jack Backsaw Kit for the Holger 556. I have no idea what this conversion kit is going to do, but it looks like it turns the Holger Assault Rifle into an SMG. So of course, we got to complete five of these weekly challenges to unlock the week six reward. And of course, we are so close to the week eight reward, which is the Rotten Inferno camo. We're gonna go ahead and unlock this aftermarket part. If you guys are brand new, subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every single day. And if you guys ate something today at like, like literally a snack or a meal, go down below and drop a like on the video and let me know what you ate. Alrighty guys, so of course we're playing DOS House. We need a small map to complete these challenges. But the first challenge here is getting 15 hip fire kills with a recommended AR. Of course we have the MCW, oh my God. But this honestly shouldn't be that difficult. I'm actually really excited to use this aftermarket part today because it is for the Holger, which is an assault rifle and one of the best ARs actually in the game. So pretty excited to see what they actually did to change that weapon. Wait, wait, bro, what did I, that was a triple kill, I think. Oh, there's a guy behind us. Yo, what is this game right now? Oh my God. No! I will say, though, Wednesdays are truly my favorite days when it comes to MW3, and Sledgehammer has done just an awesome job with these aftermarket parts. I'm so glad they took it seriously because they very well could have added, a, you know, aftermarket parts in the beginning, and there is the weekly challenge. Oh, my God. All right, next up, we have the Ram 9 SMG, and we need to actually get 10 double kills. Like I was saying, they easily could have just had aftermarket parts for the beginning of the game to hype up MW3 to get more sales and people, you know, actually invested in the game and then they could have just easily just stopped making the, or why but they could have easily just stopped making aftermarket parts but no they they continued and i saw they continued to actually make aftermarket parts and that actually means a lot they kept going they wanted to actually you know have fun give us good content there's one there's two there's a double kill perfect oh i'm gonna lose it today there's one there's two. I almost died again, bro. I don't know why I can't get double kills. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Oh my God. That's a quad. Does that count as a double? Like a double, double kill. There's one guy. Oh, there's two. There's one. That guy was knifing. There's two. There's three. There's four. Guys, I'm a little bit nervous because I've gotten a lot of double kills I, and I haven't seen the challenge pop up. I'm really, thank you. We're that was really mean. All right, so the next challenge is use an LMG and get hip fire kills. I feel like this shouldn't be that bad either. Oh my God. Yeah, no, this is going to be easy. If you guys are curious of what LMG I'm using, I believe this is the TAC Evolver, which it's decent. Thankfully though, we only need to get 10 hip fire kills. So this honestly should not be difficult. I'm just trying to crouch and wow. To be fair, LMGs aren't meant to actually, you know, hit fire. They're, they're really meant to, um, you know, ADS. Oh, there we go. All the hit fire kills. All right, I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, guys, so for our second to last challenge, we need to use an LMG and also get tax stance kills. I feel like this is going to be much easier than the hit fire kills or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I just picked the wrong LMG. I'm not going to lie. I feel like if this LMG is so good up close... Yup, thank you. Okay, well, I feel like there's not many people on the map right now. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven, there's eight, there's nine. Either way, I feel like we should be close with all of these tax dance kills and then we have one more challenge to complete. Thank you. There's like two people back here. There's one. There's two. Okay, anyone else? I think we're good. There's one. Oh my God. Hey, there's the challenge. Let's go. All right, guys, and the last and final challenge for this week is get 20 kills with a shotgun, but you have to ADS just like that. This challenge should definitely be easy and definitely be fun. This Lockwood shotgun that I'm using right now is unbelievably broken. Hello? There we go. Oh, why is there an aid? Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, are, are all these people just stop playing? Listen, I don't care. I will take free and easy kills any day of the week. See this guy? No hit marker? Why? These guys only have 17 points in the domination match. I kind of feel bad. No. no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Oh my god! Kill him. Kill him. Pop this advance. Oh, is that a person? Wait. Did I do it? I think I did it. All right, we're going to go to our challenges. Week six and... No, I didn't finish it. I have 15 out of 20. One, two, three, four, five. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Hey, there we go. That's the challenge. Now let's actually see if this week is working. The challenge is not bugged and we can actually use it. All right, Holger 556. I believe this is the one. We're going to go to Gunsmith Conversion Kit. Is it not for this one? Oh, is it for the Holger LMG? It might be for the Holger LMG. Conversion kit, Jack Burnout? No, what the heck? The aftermarket part is for the Holger 556, which is the assault rifle. I had it the first time. Don't tell me, dude. Like, don't tell me. Holger 556. We're gonna go into conversion kit, and there's only one there. It's the Jack Signal Burst. It's freaking broken! Is it a barrel? It might be like a barrel? I don't know. No, I, I, this is stupid! There's always an issue every single week! Four to six weeks later. Hey guys, so it's been two hours, and they just released a new update to fix the attachment. Let's see if it's actually working. So it is for the Holger 556. We're gonna put that on. Go to conversion kit, and there we have it, the Jack Backsaw Kit. It says this gives the Holger a high-capacity drum magazine and a side-by-side -side double barrel, allowing for the weapon to fire two bullets at once. Wait, hold on. We've definitely seen this before, right? With the AMR9, or am I going crazy? You're absolutely mental. Alrighty, fellas, we have the new Holger Backshot Kit or something. What is it called? Back backsaw. Backsaw, I think. Okay, let's see... How this goes, that felt really, um, wait, what? Oh, how? What? What? This is literally just the same thing as the AMR9. It actually feels the exact same. Why is that guy in a corner? Yeah, this feels the exact same as the AMR9 uh, aftermarket part as well. It's literally just the whole double barrel style thing, but it's for the Holger instead. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit sad. I really wish it was more unique. It's cool because it does give the Holger like a hundred round magazine, but you are shooting like, two, you know, two bullets at one time. But I do wish it was a little bit more of a unique conversion kit. Because the Holger is such an awesome weapon, I feel like it definitely deserves something a little bit new and maybe different. Either way, I mean, this thing is hitting. I'm not saying it's bad, because I actually think it's a very, very good attachment so far. I'm just saying, hey, I wish we had some different content instead of just the same exact thing that we've seen already. They could also spawn on this left side. Let me see. Yep, there's a guy there. Oh, I got destroyed. Okay, if we can maybe get an attack helo right now, I think we'll actually be chilling, bro. Dude, this Holger is trash. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm using the Holger. <laughs> he said that Holger is trash when I'm actually the one using it. That's actually hilarious because it's definitely not trash. It's really good. It has a lot of recoil to manage, but that's about it. It's actually fairly good if you can control the recoil. Okay, hopefully, we can actually get this advanced UAV. I might be dead, though, because we got double concuss. Oh, my God. There's like 10 people over there. What? All right, we have the EMP. Let's use that real quick. Let's see if we can actually drop a nuke with this thing. I'm going to try to pop the advance real quick as well. We could. I don't know if we're okay right now. What the? Oh, God. I think I'm going to peek this side because there's guy right here. Guy right there. Let's check middle. Got him. Okay. All right. We're on a 20. Holy crap, dude. Got him. Dude, this is fun. Wait. Oh, oh my God. I almost just died. What is going on? Please don't spawn on me. Net. Oh. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh my god. Hello? We good? You gotta yeah. hold that hard point. Okay. Yeah, we're holding that hard point, buddy. Teammates, you need to help out. Oh, I might be dead. 
No, teammate, watch out! Yo, they just keep throwing nades. I, I'm literally pinned back here. I'm stuck. I'm one kill away. I'm one kill away. Okay, we're good on ammo. We don't need ammo right now. We got the MGB. We got the MGB. Oh, shoot. Let's go, baby. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. It just feels like the AMR9, but it's like a Holger SMG variant with a double barrel. Oh, God. The only downside about this aftermarket part is that when you put it on, you can't run things like a muzzle. You can't run an underbarrel. You can't run a regular barrel. So it removes a lot of actual attachments you can equip on the regular Holger. I am very impressed that Sledgehammer was able to push out an update that quickly and fix it within two hours. What the? You're sitting in the corner? Yeah. I'm calling this hit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Holger aftermarket part. The jack, back saw, back shot. I don't know what it's called, but uh, it's pretty decent. Yo, GG's. <laughs> GG's, guys. <laughs> I dropped my first nuke. And You guys were pretty easy. Thank you. Oh my god, shut up. Hey, GG, uh, Manic tw tw Twerker or Tweaker. Also, with today's update, they dropped a brand new event, the Warhammer 40k for the Emperor. It's basically things we've seen before. You just have to gain XP to eventually get to the Master Reward, which is a blueprint. The Righteous Storm Blueprint uh, for the WSP-9. It takes about over 500,000, almost 600,000 XP for a blueprint. So it's up to you. But I'm a little sad that it's not really that unique. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.